How do I look? How do I look? How's my hair? How's my body? How's my body? This is the way the human being seems to be living on the planet since we have created platforms to showcase their body. It seems that way back when there was films, people were somewhat at least paying attention to being responsible and conscious somewhat because only the actors and actresses were keeping their bodies and body parts in shape so that they were able to showcase and make some money. Today, with the invent of technology and a smart device in every single human being's hand almost on the planet, they're using that tool that could enhance and increase the human possibility into a, a crippling tool that is not only an individual has become a piece of item, piece of merchandise on the so-called World Wide Web of Internet. You can showcase your body, your hair, how you look, what you do, how you eat. Yet, when it comes to the interiority, how does this machine function? Is a problem for humans to grapple, to be able to hold on to. The emotions are running wild only because they're trying to be somebody completely not them. They've seen it on movie, they've seen it on the social media platform. They simply do not know what to do with their mind and emotions and energy. They're trying to fix their body. They're trying to fix their head, not the head. They're trying to fix their hair that is receding. Remember, you're just an outcrop of this planet. You came like a, a cell. You accumulated over a period of this body that you call yourself me or my body. Remember, whatever you accumulated is not yours at all. It is just the weight. If you don't know how to keep it aside, keep a distance from it. More importantly, even to this day, everybody is interested in the exterior, the facade on the outside. But remember, if the inside fails to function without friction in a smooth manner, the outside will show up the wear and tear, just like any machine that exists on the planet. Any machine, we call it the most sophisticated and intelligent machine, how the creation is intended for. Yet, what we ingest, what we do to it, what we eat, what we drink, how we treat this body has become a result in all what we see on the planet today. Even a small situation that humanity face gets multiplied into multitude of faceted, complex and most horrible situations only because we haven't put enough emphasis in fixing the inner machine, the inner intelligence. We're going on and on about fixing the outside for our comfort and convenience. We are not suffering life. We are simply suffering our comforts and conveniences and our way of life. When the internet doesn't speed up, you complain. When the bus doesn't turn up on time, you complain. When it rains, you complain. When it doesn't rain, you complain. 
When you're educated, you complain. When you're uneducated, you complain. You suffer not life. You suffer your psychological drama that you play up in your head. Remember, it's not how you look and how you showcase yourself in front of the world. It's how you conduct yourself on the inside. As a consequence, you become a pleasant life on the planet. Whatever I speak may be so far away from entertainment or logical realization of what one has learned over the years, over centuries, over the millennia. Yet life is such an experience of a phenomena that you need to put this to work to be able to see the result that it throws out. Are you willing or would you constantly like to fix the outside without realizing the inside is rusting, inside is in friction. And so we call it stress, distress, mental health issues, tiredness, anxiety. Call it all the fanciful names you wish to call. Simply what it means, it's telling you you're not paying attention to the motor, the engine. Don't pay attention to the, the upholstery, the cosmetic, the paintwork. Pay attention to the engine. Keep the engine lubricated and running so it works for you without friction. Isn't that simple enough? Why you have become a merchandise, a simply become an item, a piece to be sold in a marketplace. Don't become, as a human being, add some value with a conscious, responsible and a meaningful life. No, it doesn't need to be a meaningful life, a profound life, so that as a consequence, you become a pleasant experience to the planet, to yourself and everybody around you. Would you invest in just this? A simple inward step may take you and may heal the engine that is working for you.